Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example on mensuration. The diagram shows a rectangle OPQR with length 11 cm and width 4 cm. OQ is a diagonal and OPX is a sector of the circle with center O. So the center of the circle is at point O over here and OPX is a part of the circle. So it is a sector. Calculate the percentage of the rectangle that is shaded. So we can see that some part of the rectangle is shaded and some part of it is unshaded. And the unshaded area is the area of the sector. So let us try to find out the area of the sector using the formula theta by 360 degrees times pi r square where theta is the angle of the sector. So this is the angle of the sector theta and r is the radius of the circle. So op is the radius of the circle over here or it could be ox as well. Now here we can see that rq and op are the widths of the rectangle. So if rq is 4 cm, we have the radius as 4 cm as well. Now to find out the theta that is the central angle of the sector we have to make use of the triangle OPQ. So this is the triangle OPQ we are going to consider to find out the value of theta and we know that the angles in a rectangle are 90 degrees. So here the corner P is also 90 degrees. So this represents a right angled triangle. So let me draw this triangle again. So here is the triangle OPQ. Here we had seen that OP is 4 cm and PQ is 11 cm. So let us write here 4 and 11. And this is a right angle triangle. So to find out theta, we have to make use of one of the trigonometric ratios. Now here the theta is at point O. So the side opposite to the angle theta, we take it as the opposite side. And the side opposite to the 90 degrees, we take it as the hypotenuse. And the remaining side we take it as the adjacent. Now here since we have the opposite side and the adjacent side we can use the trigonometric ratio tan theta because tan is given as opposite over hypotenuse. So tan theta is equal to opposite side over adjacent side and here we have the opposite side as 11 and we have the adjacent side as 4. So let us find out the theta by taking the tan on the other side so that it becomes arc tan or tan inverse of 11 over 4. So let us calculate and check how much we get the value of theta. So here we have tan inverse of 11 divided by 4 and it's going to give us 70.01 or we can just round it off as 70 degrees. So we got the value of theta now as 70. So let us substitute the value of theta in this area of sector and get the area of sector. So substituting the values of theta and r in the given formula we get 70 over 360 degrees times pi times the radius we had seen that here it was 4. So we substituted 4 in the place of r square. Now let us see how much we get the value of the area of sector. So it is 70 divided by 360 times pi times 4 square is going to be 16. So we have the area of sector as 9.773. So here we will write 9.77 or just 9.77 centimeter square. Now this is the area of the sector but here we have to find out the area of the shaded region. So to find the area of shaded region we have to subtract the area of the sector from area of a rectangle. So we write the formula for area of shaded region as area of rectangle minus area of sector. Area of sector we just found out that was 9.77 and to find out the area of rectangle we have the length and the width given. So length times width gives us the area of rectangle. So 11 times 4 is 44 
So here we write area of rectangle as 44 minus area of sector is 9.77. So that gives us an area equal to 34.23 centimeter square. So this is the area of the shaded region. But they have asked us to find out the percentage of the rectangle that is shaded. Which means we have to take the ratio of the area of the shaded region and divide it with the area of the total rectangle. So the percentage of the rectangle that is shaded is given as area of shaded region of the rectangle which is this part which we got divided by the total area of the rectangle which was 44. So let us substitute in these places area of shaded region we had got it as 34.23 and divided by total area of the rectangle was 44 and times 100 to get the answer as a percentage. So let us find out what is the answer here. So it is 34.23 divided by 44 times 100. So that gives us an answer of 77.79 or 77.8 percentage. So this is the percent of the area which is shaded in the given rectangle. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. So if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.